third floor, room 24. Just say that and you'll go without waiting in line as a veteran. Never mind if they start grumbling. They are always grumbling. All right, I could come to you when I'm healthy just for you to Stay cheer healthy. me up. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, yes, second shift. And where would I find a policy now? No, really, I promise. My daughter would bring it to her. My dear, give me a ticket, please. The pain's acute, after all. And then they'll deduct it from my salary. I told you I can't do it. If it hurts, go to a private clinic. <sighs> Excuse me, ma'am. Hold on a moment, please. I'll ask the management. They might allow it. No, of course not. My mother just loved it, Olga. She loved it a lot, even more than, uh, in the department. Well, now, what did I tell you? We have fantastic doctors here, as well as great staff. We're very careful about it. This is why I want you to understand. I am personally grateful to you. And if you need some, you know... Uh... I assure you, we're not going to refuse your gratitude. Don't count on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me, Miss Olga. Can I come in? Well, tell me, since you're here. There's a woman at the registry desk. She forgot her policy and has acute pain. Can I give her an appointment? She'll bring the policy later. <sighs> All right. However, she will be your responsibility. We can't treat everyone without policies like hers. I'll take care of it. Thank you so much, really. You're very strict. People toe the line here. As far as I can see. Oh, not at all. I'm a very gentle manager. So tell me, what exactly can I do for you, Olga? Please. They allowed it. Come over here. They said I could write out an appointment for you. Masha, listen. We really need to stop this whole thing. You can't pander to summer holiday inspiration. Your mother your entire life. Listen, Igor, mom has this last wish left in her life. And I'm definitely not going to destroy it. <laughs> Come on, don't lie to me. Igor, you had a two-parent family. My mom broke her neck her whole life to raise and to educate me. She never married. She left the university and made up a beautiful tale about my dad, the polar explorer, to keep me safe from awkward talks. Do you think I like celebrating his birthday every year? Or look at those photos on the wall. Anna Petrovna could have organized her life a hundred times if you stopped playing along and told her everything. Hello, Mom. What's up? When can I pick you up? I'll be done in half an hour, so you can get going, okay? Is Igor coming? Uh, no, Mom. Igor can't come. We have a ton of work. Mom says hello. <laughs> Same to her. Wish Dad a happy birthday. Mom, Igor says hello. Yeah. All right, then. I'm coming. Are you kidding me? Everyone has their little weaknesses. Oh, relax. Go on. Just don't stay for too long. Mm. And take some money from Mom. Why? She's only going to pile it up and give it back to us later. It's pointless. All right, I'm going. I'll see you later, okay? Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Masha, come on, what's with the expensive champagne? You don't have the money right now. We could have celebrated the usual. Mom, don't talk about money right now. All right. Also, can't I organize a party for my wonderful mom? I offered to take you to a restaurant, but you said no. No, I baked your favorite turkey and foil. 3,440. <laughs> could you look for 60 rubles? <gasps> Uh, perhaps you'd like a lottery ticket? It'll be 40 rubles. Sorry, no. We don't need a ticket. We will take the ticket. Give us the ticket for good luck. <sighs> I'm so very uh, sorry. All right. Here are your 600 rubles. <laughs> Come on, take your ticket. It's yours. I'll take it and you get the cake. <laughs> And so then, to your dad's birthday. And so, Mom, you're going to have vacation in the fall? Mm-hmm. In the fall, of course. You know, it is the best time for me to go traveling. Yeah, I know, I know. Vacation well-deserved, and then you'll have Christmas, and then New Year's, and then you can rest at work when it rains. Masha. 
You plant cucumbers at the cottage with Grandma. That's great. Mmm, agricultural expert. The cucumbers are done. They're already planted. As for Grandma... She's always happy to see yes. us. And there's also fresh hair. Yes, that's right. Mom... Mm. Mom, why don't you go somewhere and have some fun? You're a young woman, after all. You can't spend your entire life like this. I mean, back and forth, from the clinic to the cottage, cottage to the clinic. Mm. Maybe Igor and I... No. Can... You and Igor have other things to spend money on. I don't like resting alone. Tell me what I'm gonna do in a strange place. Just get bored? <laughs> Mom, yeah. you can travel. Mm. Go to museums, see new places. Even sunbathing would be good for you. Mm. Hey, Mom? Yeah? It's time for me to go. I guess. Thanks a lot, Mom. Thank you, my lovely girl. You know how much I love our get-togethers. I love them too. I'll see you later. Okay. Go, my dear. <laughs> Don't see me off. Okay. Can you turn off the light? Got it. Anna, could you sit in for me today? I gotta pick up Lesha from kindergarten. It's a woman's job. Of course, I have nowhere to be. Is that a rebuke? Am I to blame for the fact that... Oh, you're funny. Hello, this is reception. Can I help you? To the Hello? ENT hey. specialists? Uh, no. Unfortunately, there are no appointments. You know, Anna Petrovna, you can register them with me at two o'clock. A patient of mine canceled. You're lucky, there's a window at two o'clock. Is it okay? Shall I register you? All Registry right. desk. Registration in 10 minutes. Dr. Victor, do you need something? Uh, um, well, you know, I wanted to ask you, um, I was just thinking, why don't I invite you for a cup of coffee? Uh, after work. <laughs> I would love to, of course. But I'm going to be an hour late, though. Well, I would gladly stay up late for a cup of coffee. It'd be worth it. To have some in your company. Is it a date? Mm-hmm. And the patient comes at two o'clock. All right. Anna, careful now. Axonoff is hitting on you. Reception desk opens in five minutes. You need to wait. All right, listen to me. Hmm. Axonoff is divorced. He's an ENT doctor. A very rare skill with a decent salary. There's only one problem. He still lives at home with his mother. He has no place of his own. You should think about yourself. You're not a girl anymore. Oh, you shouldn't think so. I've been watching you for a long time. No, really. Watching in what sense? In the good sense, well, N not spying on you, of course. I'm not a stalker or anything. <laughs> it's just that you're very different from other women. You're, you're kind of perfect, if you will allow me to say that. <laughs> Come on, please. Don't be ridiculous, Victor. <laughs> I'm ordinary. Oh. An ordinary and simple loser. Oh, all right, all right. Don't start that. You know, I'm actually won over by the fact you're who you are. Kind, I mean. You don't lecture anyone, snoop around in anyone else's lives. You're not a gossip. I came to the clinic right after my first year at the university. Mitrofanov was the chief physician. He saw me with pigtails and then he asked me, what's your name, lovely child? And I said, Anna, but I'm not a child. I'm already 19. Mm. He said <laughs> such a respectable lady shall only be called by her full name. And we are already here. Well, that was how it all started. That was it. Everyone called me by my full name as a joke, and then it stuck. Well, thank you very much for a wonderful evening. It's a pity we have to say goodbye. But I hope we'll see each other soon. Of course. We'll see each other tomorrow in the clinic. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, goodbye. All the best.
Vacation in Svesda Spa Resort? Mom, this is really fantastic. It never happens. I thought they'd laugh at me at the tour agency and they said, yes, any two weeks of the next month. Yes, it's a promotion. Do you even understand how much a room in those hotels costs? How would I? A thousand? Mom. What, two thousand? Mom, not that much. Two hundred euros. The cheapest room. Oh, 200 euros for a week? What week for a day? Oh no, Masha, I'm not going anywhere. It's just so much money. What are you talking about? Talk to them. Perhaps it's possible to get the money back? Mom, this is a promo that they have so that people will go to the hotel and not spend money. Don't worry, okay? Breakfast is included. You'll have lunches and dinners and cafes. Mm -hmm. I'll buy you a ticket for the train. We just need to find out when you're going. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not, that's it. You know that my vacation is in October according to the schedule. And the voucher's not effective in October, it'll expire then. You can go there instead. I don't think that Igor will be against it. Mom, Igor will be against it. We have a deadline coming up. Let your coworker Olga sit at the reception desk if there's no one else to cover for work Masha. for you. Or let her hire someone for two weeks. Mom, stop. Stop wasting your life for all kinds of garbage. You only have one life. Whatever happens, just say it's personal. And that's it. Oh, Masha, dear. It's definitely personal. Did you want something, Anna? Yes, Olga. <sighs> Listen, I really need two weeks vacation this month. Well, Olga, this is what's going on. <sighs> Olga, listen to me, really, please. After all, I have the right under the labor code and... Uh, that's what they're saying now. Sure, of course. You absolutely have this right under the labor code. But what about your conscience? Olga, I really need it. I can't explain the reason. It's only for two weeks. I'll arrange it with Lena. Here's what I'm going to tell you, dear Anna Petrovna. Of course, I'll deal with this issue. But I'd like to remind you how many times I helped you with all of your, all your little problems. You're putting me into a difficult situation, and I'm never going to forget it. As for this moment, you can go ahead and write a leave request under the labor code. Masha, I feel uncomfortable. This is very expensive. I can't accept such expensive presents Mom, from you. You helped us invest in the apartment, didn't you? <sighs> I know how long it took you to save all that money. Consider the debt just repaid. Yeah. Also, money's not that important. Mm -hmm. Ah! What is it? Look at this gorgeous dress. Masha, no, this is enough. That's it. Try it on. It's the last one. <laughs> Sweetie, how's it look? Mom, I knew you were beautiful, of course, but not this beautiful. Oh, honey, I think it's not for my age. It's too open. All right, Mom, give it to me. Stop covering yourself. Oh, my God. Oh, God. That's great, Mom. Anna, please tell me, yeah. what train car are you on? Let me look at the ticket. All right. I have car number 10, seat 14. Mom, the huh? hotel shuttle will meet you at the station, and there, All there right. will be somebody with a sign saying Marisova. In the hotel, you'll show your passport Masha, at the reception. Masha, I don't have dementia yet. I remember well every outfit that I have to wear, what to drink, and what to eat. Yeah, the suitcase is pretty heavy. I don't know who's going to take it for you. Someone will help. Oh, Mom, yeah. hold on. 
Here's a little bit of money so that you'll feel more free. No. This is our present to you for your birthday. All right, guys, I'm telling you enough presents, okay? Silence, mother-in-law. You know what? Marry first, and then you can order me around. All right, all right. We'll get married, especially for you. Look, he's completely shameless. Well, I can't argue with you. All right, let's go. There's 10 minutes left. How much do I have to repeat it? There are no appointments to see the surgeon today. He resigned. Call a cab and go to the first aid station. What kind of Ex people are they? You tell them and they don't hear it. Excuse me. Does Olga Semnova work here? She sure does. What is your issue? It's personal. I can't say here. Let's find out if Olga Semenovna will be able to see you. How shall I introduce you? I'll introduce myself. Well, in this case, find out where she is on your own. Second floor, room 12. <laughs> Are you going to tell everyone in the entire country where she works, huh? Whatever, Valia. It's no big secret where Semenova works. Come in. Good afternoon. Good afternoon? How exactly may I help you? It's personal, Olga. It's personal. Oh, my dear God. It's our deceased polar explorer. Come in, please. Sit down. <laughs> what is that? What polar explorer? Ah, forget it. It's nothing important. Well, what brings you here? Yeah. I've decided to get a job in this place. My son's a widower. <laughs> While uh, Katya was growing up, he used to tell her that um, mom went on a lengthy work trip and then it was so heartbreaking. It's so awful, I don't even want to remember it. <laughs> Katya has grown up. She's a student now. She doesn't care about him anymore. And he remained unmarried. Well, he's... He's a businessman. At least there's that. But he never married while Katya was growing up. <laughs> and I don't think he will now. I highly doubt it. Yeah, that's heavy. Yeah. It's the same for me. I lie to Masha, too. I tell her that her dad is a polar explorer. I don't know what else to tell to a child. Uh, well, then, who was he, actually? Actually, he was a classmate of mine. Oh. We studied in medical school. He was so very handsome, all the girls were in love with him. I used to lose my breath in his presence. I heard all of the birds sing when he romanced me. <laughs> then I got pregnant. When I told him about it, he said, You're not a little girl, you know what to do. I had to leave the university. He never married no, you, No, never. Right? And then I had other things to take care of. Mom was ill and worked 10 oh. jobs, and my girl is my pride. She's smart and beautiful, and a ridiculously talented architect. <laughs> She's such a character. And the boy who carried the suitcase, the one with the glasses, is her husband, right? No, he's just her boyfriend, as they say right oh, now. Oh, yes, yes. Boyfriend. They're going to get married. Uh-huh. They work a lot, they earn good money, but they're taking their time. <laughs> the surgeon resigned just three days ago. Therefore, I'll put you on temporary probation. Three months. I'm warning you straight away. If something happens, you'll be kicked out of here. Frankly speaking, between us, I just want to punish your Anna. I want to see her face when she comes back and sees you. Hold on, Anya who? Hello, Earth to Jenna. Anna who? Anna Petrovna, don't you remember? She was our classmate in our first year. I can't remember at all. Uh, yeah, uh, yes, 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 yes. I remember now. Such a naive fool, right? What about her? Hold on, don't you know anything? What am I supposed to know? I only know that she disappeared after the first year. Hold on to the chair, Polar Explorer. 
I'm going to give you some news. Olga, why are you calling me Polar Explorer? Welcome to the Spedsta Hotel. Good morning, and welcome to the Svesta Hotel. Well, I believe that I have a room reserved for me under my name. Last name is Petrovna. Anna Petrovna. Nice to meet you, Anna Petrovna. Can I see your passport, please? Sure, absolutely. Here you go. Thank you so much, Anna Petrovna. Please yes. sit down on the couch and wait for just a second, if you would. <laughs> All right. It's very beautiful here. All right, I'm off. Uh, tell everyone... To call you on your mobile phone, right? Yeah. All right, sure, Mr. Stepanovich. Dima. Yes? Bow tie. Where? Your bow tie, Dima. Ah, I'm sorry. Tell me, is this guest, uh, staying here for the first time? Yeah, she's here for the hotel promotion. You know what? Give her number 802. Number 802? Yes, yes, yes. Let's display the goods. Come on. All right. Room 802? Room 802. Anna Petrovna. Anna Petrovna, follow me, please. I'm going to show you right to your room. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Have a good stay. Yeah. That's nothing. Um, your mom asked me to give you these pastries. They look delicious. Have a good day. <sighs> oh, mom again. <gasps> oh God, it's so beautiful. Oh. God, it's so beautiful, so beautiful. Thank you so much. Excuse me, I'm from room number 802. It's my first time here. Could you tell me where the beach is? Of course I'll tell you, Anna Petrovna. You go straight down the main alley and it'll be right there. Straight down. <laughs> Thank you so much. Excuse me, could you tell me how to get to the beach? You can follow me. I'm going there. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, let me introduce myself. I'm Alexander. Nice to meet you, Anna. Well, nice to meet you, too. The woman is a heavenly creature. The embodiment of a fairy tale like dream. The cloud of impossible desires. The wind of love as well as beauty. Nature spent so many efforts while creating what all of us know as woman. <laughs> Here's to you. Here's to you. <laughs> Olga, would you care for dinner tonight? 
to celebrate my first work day. All right, Zotov. It's Olga Vladimirovna for you here. No one else. Get used to it, okay? Question, are you going to hit on me? You're not a match for me in any way. Is it clear, Zotov? Olga Vladimirovna, I only invited you to say thank come you, on, so Come on, come on. Don't be sad. Let's go and have dinner. I'm a free woman now, you know. Aren't you married? Yes, I am married. And I'm all right. In all departments. Mm-hmm. I'm free because my husband is on a business trip abroad with our son. Therefore, it's better to eat here with you in the restaurant than alone at home. Husband? Is he a reputable man? He's more than just a husband, Jenna. He's our general sponsor. I've given him tons of attention to get new equipment and annual bonuses for our dedicated employees. I guess it wasn't just about bonuses, hmm? to sell my mother's apartment in Moscow to pay all of my debts. I rent a place now, wasting what remains of my past wealth. Whatever the general's daughter left for me to spend. Are you ready to order? Olga, what do you drink? Champagne, please. Why don't you bring us a, a cold bottle of Chandon, please? <laughs> in the meantime, we'll see what we can eat here. Sure, right away. Yeah, Jenna. You're living as if you have tons of money to spend. Will you be able to pay the bill? Why are you treating me so aggressively? You're always trying to get under my skin. Will you tell me why? All right, listen. Masha the girl, who only just recently turned 25 years old, grew up at the reception desk in our clinic. Is it clear? I've been thinking for 25 years that you're a mean man. It's hard to lose the habit straight away. I actually didn't know anything. Hmm. Nothing at all, Olga. When you got a mindless and naive girl pregnant who was madly in love with you, you didn't understand then, right? When you sent her to get an abortion, didn't you understand? Olga, don't come down hard on <sighs> me. She's an adult, by the way, not a child. Am I going to get punished for that now? Do you know what I think, Jenna? You need to make peace with Anna. And you need to marry her. <laughs> marry her? Mm hmm Are you out of your mind? Am I supposed to marry a receptionist? Marry a woman, Jenna. You've pulled the wool over the eyes of the general's daughter. I think you need a quiet harbor right now. I'm mad at Anna, of course. But you have to believe me, if she forgives you, She'll obey you without saying a word against anything. If anything happens, she's going to drive your wheelchair and feed you with Semolina until the very end of times. <laughs> Bite your tongue, Semenova. She's on vacation now as we speak. She went to her mother's cottage. I will give you Masha's address. You can start with her. I'm going to show you an amazing place right here. Take a look. <laughs> How do you like it? Uh, excuse me, um, uh, good evening. Can we get a table for two, an isolated one? Sure, over there. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Thanks a lot. I owe you a big one, young man. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Don't worry, it's just water, it dries. Hold Anna Petrovna. Yes. Who will take care of this, sir? Let's go, shall we?
You know, I didn't want to come here, actually. I thought it would be boring. My friends talked me into it. After all, a man can't be thinking about work and business all the time. You know, I lead a secluded life, too. It's hard for me to meet new people, but vacation is a great thing. I just can't recognize myself. We're talking as if we've known each other for years. I'm feeling all the same things you're saying. You know, it's hard for me to meet new people. I guess I'm shy. And now I meet you and it's, it's so easy for me. <laughs> I can't explain it. Uh, by the way, what do, you, what do you do for a living? What's your business? <laughs> business? It's medical. <laughs> Look, it's quite, quite a harsh business, it seems like to me. <laughs> I think it's not for such a gentle lady like you. You don't know me yet. I'm a very strong woman. <gasps> well, let's toast so that I'll never find out just how hard and strict you actually are in real life. Let's toast so that you'll never fall ill. Cheers to that. I have a meeting now, Dima. All right. I have diverted my number to yours. If my mom calls, tell her I'll pick her up at about 1 p.m. Mm, all right, uh, don't worry, Mr. Stepanovich. Uh, it's not the first time. By the way, Mitrofanov's already here. He's sitting in the conference hall and drinking coffee. Uh, I see. And there's one more thing. Uh, let me look at the documents of the woman who stayed in 802. Ah, for Anna Petrovna. Anna Petrovna, that's right. One second. Ah, is something wrong? No, it's all right. Thank you, Dima. Good morning, Anna Petrovna. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, you can take your passport. Can I get it after I get back from the beach? Sure thing. Have a nice day. All the best. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> oh, I thought I was the only early bird here. Are you going to the beach? Yeah, right. Well, well, let's go together, shall we? I'm heading in the same direction anyway. Oh, by the way, I found a very beautiful place. I have to show it to you. What? Let's go, let's go. Why lose time, really? Let's go now. Here you go. Good morning. Good morning. How can I help you today? Thank you very much. I have a wonderful and charming, beautiful assistant. You see, I'm a, I'm a Gemini. If I like two things, I just can't decide between them. I simply cannot make a decision. I'm not sure I'll be able to help you out. Oh, come now. Don't be shy. Take a look. Look at these, huh? This watch and this one. Which one would you choose? I think mm, the one with the strap is more interesting. On the strap? Mm-hmm. That's wonderful. Oh, I think this beach bag is made just for you. It has your name written all over it. Uh, no thanks, I think mine is all right. Tell me, Anya, if you would, uh, does your balcony in room 802 face the coastline or the garden? I have a wonderful view from the balcony. Would you allow me to look at it? Well, sure, why not? Oh, right, then that's great. Let's do it right now. Come on, we'll go up and enjoy the view. Uh, I've been dreaming about it well, for I... a long time. Uh, thank you very much. We'll be back soon. Goodbye. Please come again. Can I really come? Come out here? Yes, you can, sure. <gasps> that's just incredible. Do you know what I just thought about? I think that we're missing something here. Something very important. We need two glasses of champagne. <laughs> champagne? Champagne right now? Of course, my beautiful dear. You know, mornings were created specifically and only for champagne. And champagne was created only and specifically for you. Uh, here you go. Sit down. Sit, sit, sit. Hello. A bottle of French champagne to room 802, please. And make it quick. Oh, and a rose, please. A dark one, preferably. Thank you. <laughs> ah, so are you a magician? Oh, not at all. I'm only learning to be one. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Miss Petrovna, this is for you. Thank you very much.
Well, judging by the way you're looking at me, I have the right address. Hey, Masha. Yeah? Come over here. And bring some valerian, please. Igor, why do you need valerian root? It's not for me. It's for you. Hello there. What are we going to do, Masha? Shall we throw this ghost down the stairs or let him in? What do you think? Allow me to introduce myself. Gennady Sergeyevich Zotov. I have to say that this visit is unexpected and not welcome. Gennady Sergeyevich, what brings you here now? I learned accidentally that I have a grown-up daughter. I decided to come here and meet her. What are you trying to say here? I'm saying that I didn't... didn't even manage to remember your mother's name when our, when our classmate said it to me. And I didn't even know you existed, Maria Petronova Verasova. I'm so very sorry. I just didn't know. Ah, oh, I see. I see. Really? What do you see, huh? Who didn't mess around with girls in their youth? Imagine they tell you that, 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 that they're expecting. And you have no idea about it. After that, the girl just disappears and doesn't bother you anymore. Will you look for her, find out how she's doing? Listen to me, deceased father. Why don't you tell me why you're actually here? I found out I had a daughter, my only daughter. I wanted to meet her. Well, now you have, so now what? I don't know. Frankly speaking, I don't know. I I could lie and, and say that I wanted to help you, but there's nothing I can help you with. I'm in dire straits myself. My ex-wives robbed me of everything. I don't want your help. I just came to meet you. Follow me, my dear daddy. I've heard the tale of the deceased polar explorer for as long as I can remember. The one that my mother didn't have time to marry. Mom and I celebrate your birthday every single year. I've known that she's lied to me since I was 14. But I felt sorry for her. She never got married. She never graduated from university. She's beautiful, you know that? And she works without rest. And you? And you dare to come here? Go away, please. Just go away. It would be better if you left. Get out of here! No, come on. You're messing I it up. Miss Petrovna, your hand, hey, please. Hey, I'm You're fine. abusing my good attitude towards you. You know that. Report to me as soon as you're done. All right, fine. Uh, oh! Uh. Uh, 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 uh. I beg your pardon. Uh, I'm just so clumsy. Uh, I'm so sorry. <sighs> Oh, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Oh, it hurts. Oh, hold on. Where does it oh, hurt? Oh, dear. Oh, God, my leg hurts. We'd better call a doctor. Doctor? No, no need for a doctor. Why are you touching me? Don't touch me. No, don't touch her. Uh, I'm not touching her. What I'm are not you doing, me. then? I'm not touching you, though. You're touching me. Miss Petrovna. Oh, oh, it's such a blunder. Let me, uh, let me carry you. Uh, can I carry you over to the sofa? Huh. Huh. Hello there. Hello, hello. There was there was a bag somewhere around here. Oh, here it is. Oh, um, uh, oh. How exactly can I make a pretty girl happy? Huh? Oh. It has just been delivered. A stole of gorgeous Dutch cotton. You can pull it through the ring, just like this. Oh, wow. Hmm? Well, take a look. You can't tell this ring from a diamond without inspection. 
Oh, I sure can tell so. But the ring is very beautiful. And the watch? Mm hmm. Hmm. Can you just sign right here, please? A sure thing. I'll take the watch and the bag now. Deliver the package to room 802, not earlier than at 6 o'clock p.m., please. Mm hmm. Sure, of course. Tell me, how is your leg? It's already better, actually. Ah. So what is it? What? Do you. Do you have any new secret admirers, huh? Look, <laughs> Come on, Anna, what I will admirer? not tolerate any competitors, you hear? I'll kill him in the duel. I swear I'll shoot him dead. <laughs> You're funny. The hotel waiter brought it as an apology from the owner of the hotel, with well wishes of a All right, recovery. all right, all right. Fine, then. If he's the owner of the hotel, let him live. All right, tell me. Tell you what? How is, how is your recovery going? It's a slight displacement. I can remove the bandage the day oh, before tomorrow. Oh, that's great. Um, um, um... How do you like the wheelchair? So it was you. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander, thank you for the chair. <laughs> Excuse me, I think it's uh, something else for your speedy recovery, dear. <sighs> what could it be? Thank you. No, that's too much. I've got enough I'll presents already. I'll be honest. Already. I don't Please, know no what's in gifts. there. Let's have a look together. I think this thing is very familiar to you. <gasps> Excuse me. What is this? What in the world is this? Alexander, this oh, is very. Oh, just expensive. stop fussing. It's lovely, like you. I can't you. accept it. I can't accept and it. And what is this? My goodness. Oh no, it cannot be. It cannot be. My love. Look how beautiful it is. Thank you, but no, don't try to make me. I won't take it. I won't, I think Alexander. this is an absolutely stunning ring. Don't try to persuade me. I won't take it. All right. I won't persuade you to take it. If I... If I can't give it to the most beautiful, amazing woman I love with all my heart, I'll gladly throw it down from the hotel balcony. No, no, Agreed? no, no. I'll take it. Thank you, Alexander. Thank you. Dima, I'm sorry, but that is a bad idea. I can't stay because I promised Katarina, I promised my mom. And you're taking days off. If something happens, the new guy won't manage. Mr. Stepanovich, am I going to space? He's gonna call me if something happens. I'm telling you, he's hard working. Look, I promised all of the guys too. I didn't know you would leave. All right, control the situation. You'll be responsible for it. All right. Alexander? What incident? I don't understand. All right, I'm coming down now. <sighs> it's registered for your room number. Signature on the bills is yours too. Beach bag, a male watch, Swarovski ring, mail bag, a stole, and whiskey, uh, a male suit in total. 490,000 rubles. Hmm. I wouldn't have bothered you, but the shop needs to surrender the proceeds today. I'm so sorry. You can give me your credit card and I'll debt the sum from it. I'm sorry, but I don't understand. I didn't buy it. Um, uh, I received the, the, the bag as a gift, the scarf and the ring too, but I didn't buy it. All right. Anna Petrovna, hold on one minute. Signatures on all the bills are yours. There are also orders from the restaurant and floral boutique, but you can pay them on your departure. And the shop is demanding payment now. I understand. You know, I can return the things. The bag and the scarf, they're still in the packages. Here's the ring. I also have 95,000 in cash and 30,000 on my credit card right now. Uh, fine. Sit down over there, please. I need to make a call. 
Yeah, sure, absolutely. <sighs> uh, Dima, hello. Hello? Well? Right, uh, sorry for bothering you. Here's the situation. A guest took a lot of things and, uh, uh has no money to pay for them. Well, if there's no money... Act according to the instructions. Call the police. Let them deal with it. Do you understand? I do. Thank you. Bye. Mm -hmm. Uh... Anna Petrovna, I'm sorry, but you'll have to, uh... Go to the police station. I thought he lived in... Lived in the hotel I was staying at, and everybody used to say hello to him. Well, people know. Those who leave tips for them, you know what I mean? Yes, you're right. I saw him leave tips for people. All right, Anna Petrovna. Why don't we try to describe him, shall we? How did he look? How old was he, approximately? Well, he was in his 40s. Mm hmm And he had gray hair, you know? With light eyes, he said uh, that his name was Alexander. Very elegant man, very refined. Did he tell you that he was shy, that it's hard for him to meet women? Did he say that he felt your souls were related despite your gray business? Hmm? How do you know all that? Oh, damn it to hell. Arkady the con man is here again. The rascal's not afraid of anything. Bought something small in the boutique and had some fun, right? Yeah, right. Something very small. The boy got spruced up really nicely. Vitaly, can't you see the lady's feeling terrible? Bring her some water. Don't worry about a thing, lady. Nothing bad will happen. We'll deal with it. We'll start a criminal case for fraud and try to track him down. So don't worry. It'll be okay. Listen, you know what? Could you wait in the hall, please? All right? All right. Thanks. Look, let's not bother, all right? She'll... she'll be a witness in court, if needed. Problem solved. Moreover, we won't get anything else from her. What about the hotel? Nothing! They'll survive it! There's not that much. And well, so I... Mr. Stepanovich, I asked Dima what to do, and he told me that, um... Well, he said that if it's not a regular, I need to call the police, so I called the police. Couldn't you guess that since only my personal guests stayed in room 802, they require special treatment? Mm -hmm. And I mean special and impeccable treatment. The best treatment. Could you do it or not? How much did she pay? About 100000 She returned the stole, the pack bag, and the ring. She had no more money. Write out the rest as a financial loss. And call the police immediately. Tell them it's all okay and ask them to let her out right away. And you better be persuasive. <clears throat> Hello, Sergeant! Give me food now! Either feed me or release me already! <sighs> Burn a passage, right? Who, me? <laughs> well, not me. I'm a victim. Uh, yeah, sure. They always put victims in the monkey cage. Duty Officer Corkin speaking. Yeah, everything according to the procedure, to protocol, yeah? Uh, I see, there was an enormous mistake. Yes, I'm on it. I said I'm on it. Anna Petrovna Verasova, you're free to go. They called from the hotel and said that all of your damage has been paid for and taken care of. They asked us not to file a case, therefore you're free to go. You can go. Come on, go. Uh, uh. As for you, Bubnova, stop screaming or I'll call the victim and tell him you're here. Sit down and shut up right now. Andre? Tell me what's wrong. 
You haven't looked like yourself in three whole days. I'm getting worried. Mom, really, it's all right. Don't worry. It's nothing. Never mind. Never mind? What are you saying? How can I never mind, huh? If my son is walking around silent, darker than a storm cloud, never mind, he says. All right, tell me what happened. Did Katerina do something? What's going on? You can tell me. Mom, what does Katerina have to do with it? Can't I do something on my own? Aren't I old enough now? What is it, then? Oh, Mom, stop torturing me. I, I, I'm begging you, please. Get married. That's when I'll leave you alone. Your wife will be giving you a hard time. As for now, put up with me. <sighs> I met such a wonderful woman on the train. I thought you'd meet us. <laughs> and I'd, I'd introduce you to her. But you sent Pasha. So there goes that plan. I've asked you a hundred times to stop setting me up. Mm. Can't you understand once and for all that I will deal with it on my own, okay? All right, all right, all right. You don't have to do anything for me. Oh, sure, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Come on, tell me what happened. What really happened, tell me. Well? Andre. Mom, I... I, I met a woman. She came to the hotel and, and met some gigolo right away. He turned out to be some con man. And he took all of her money and left her there. As a result, she showed up at the police station and didn't return to the hotel after. What? And you didn't even try to get acquainted with her then? How could I? Well, I tried. I tried and broke her leg as a result. Oh! You're out of your mind. How is that? Come on, it was an accident, Mom. How's that, Andre? You're completely out of your mind. Hello there, Valya. Oh, hello. We weren't expecting you for three more days. And yet here I am. Oh, look at you. You've got a new haircut and suntan. At the cottage. My skin suntans quickly. Why did you come back early? You better tell me how everything went here oh, without working alone. me. Thank God you're here. I was about to lose it by myself. I was just about to break in too. Did you tell Simonovna that you're returning no, to work? No, not yet. <sighs> oh, here she is. Get ready. Hello there. Oh, look at her. The girl's back from vacation. Valya, did you call her? No. I came on my own. It's just great that you've come back to work. It means you care about the team. Yeah, you could say that. All right, get going. Go down to work. I'll give you your responsibilities for the day today. Sound good? By the way, Petrovna, there's a surprise waiting for you here. How did you get so tan? Hello, reception desk. Hello? Hold on a second. No, the urologist has no more appointments available. I have a free space next Wednesday. Anna Petrovna. What a surprise. Good to see you. Thank you, Victor. You look absolutely incredible today. Dr. Victor, she got a suntan, am I right? <laughs> That's right, the suntan. It looks very good on you. I'm not saying goodbye. Valentina Mikhailovna, I asked you to register patients for me every 20 minutes, remember? Not every 15. After all, I'm a surgeon, not an assembly line worker. Did you call me or what? I need to examine a patient. I don't have time to chit-chat. These happen to be the rules, Gennady Serkovich. You get a new ticket every 15 minutes. It's your problem if you can't do it in time. Valya, do we have a new surgeon? Mm-hmm. A new one. I don't know where Semenovna found him. Name's Gennady Serkovich. Have you got everything? Yes, sir, I've got it. Everything to the last thread. I personally looked behind each small door and gathered everything. But tell me, why are you taking it? I'll send it with a delivery service, you know, come on. Oh, Dima, you're on it, aren't you? Delivery service? First we screw up and then we send it with a delivery service? Be thankful that she didn't file a lawsuit. 
for injuries and for moral damage. Oh, Dima, Dima, Dima. And I wanted to make you a hotel manager. Now I'm hesitant about it. This suitcase? This one, yes. Stepanovich, we should go now, sir. Aksinov was asking about you all the time while you were sunbathing at your cottage. He's going to introduce you to his lovely mother. I've got an eye for such things. Listen, I... I have no time for him now. I wish I could stay at home in the armchair with a good book. Well, have a good night. Good night. Anya. Ah, uh, hello. Kennedy Sergovich, hello, how are you? You want it to be official? Let's make it official. Dear Anna Petrovna, can I walk you home and come in for a cup of tea with you? We need to talk. I don't understand what there is to talk about with you. Can't people who have a common daughter find something to talk about? I beg of you, please don't do it. She doesn't know anything about it. Anya, she knows everything. She knew it since she was 14. She was just playing along with your story. She didn't do it to hurt you. Anya, would you like some water? <laughs> well, this is a nice way to start a conversation. I don't know why I went to see her. What was I thinking? What could I expect? I don't even know. God, what did I do to deserve this? Why can't you just disappear from my life, huh? I never bothered you. Why? Tell me why. Anya, we have an opportunity to not make any more mistakes. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm... I'm pushing 50. My first wife took my son abroad. He doesn't call me, doesn't write, nothing. There has to be a reason why my legs brought me to the exact place where you and Masha are now. Tell me now. What is it that you need from me, huh? I have nothing left for you here, it's over. Do you understand? I spent 25 years working in the clinic and now I have to resign. Anya, why should you do that? You're acting as if everything's lost. The two of us can try and repair the broken. Mm. We're both lonely. And not yet old, thank God. You'll be my quiet harbor. And I'll be your support. What's that? Your support. Mom? Mom, are you home now? Masha, hello there. What are you doing here? Me, they, they called me from work, Masha. They needed me, uh, they you needed know? me earlier and I forgot to call you, I had no time. I came to water the flowers, what is going on? What is going on? I've heard a male voice, who is here? Masha, it's me, hello. I've decided to come and visit your mother, Anna. Did you come back because of him? Uh, no, Masha. Mm. Masha. I told you. Masha, what are you doing? Masha. <laughs> oh, my. That's it? The ghosts are finally over and gone. But what I want to know is, what is this disgusting man doing here? Ah, uh, Gennady Sergovich came here to ask me to be his wife, isn't that right? To be his wife? That's right. Marry him? Marry him? Really? Yeah. So is that okay with you? Oh, <laughs> oh Mom. <laughs> oh. Mom, don't do it. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry, really. <laughs> oh, we're not getting married.
worried. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm oh. such a fool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. I truly believe that Semenova hired him for a mm -hmm. reason. She got mad at you and hired him. How could you really disagree with your benefactress? Is he at least a good surgeon? I don't know, Masha. I don't know anything about him. When did she tell you? And why would she tell you? It was after I was in the seventh grade. She also gave me her earrings, remember? Oh. Yeah, and she said, um, Masha, I'm glad you didn't take after your mom's character. Your dad is far smarter and stronger as well. And I, being a naive fool, said, how did you meet him? Were you guys together on a polar expedition? And she asked, hold on, hasn't your mother told you yet? And she told me everything. I didn't sleep for two nights. I decided not to show it to you that I knew, and I continued to celebrate his birthday with you. Masha, if there's one good thing that I have in this crazy life of mine, it's you. You're a golden girl. <sighs> My golden girl. I love you, Mom. <sighs> but what about the voucher, Mom? Mm, forget the voucher. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Mom? What's that? Did they humiliate you there? Is that why you no, left? No, 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 no. It was marvelous. I just felt so out of place in that hotel. And I silently left. I didn't call you because I didn't want you to try to talk me out of it. Valia, I've got a very important patient at 4 p.m. She needs procedures and those things. Therefore, don't register anyone after 4. All right, Dr. Victor. Uh, Anna Petrovna? Yes? Can I have a moment yeah. with you? All right, here you go. There you are. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Fifth floor, uh, room 35. Uh, Anna Petrovna, I'd, I'd be honored to, to cordially invite you to a family holiday gathering today. I, uh, I won't take no for an answer. My, um, uh, my, my mother. Dr. Victor, I'm sorry, but I have no time for holidays at this time. Anna Petrovna, it's my mother's birthday. I understand. Congratulate your mother on my behalf. I'm really sorry. No need to invite me for a coffee or to your place. I think you're a very good man. But I don't need any relationships right now. I'm really sorry. Please forgive me. You need to go to the second floor. Second floor, room 25. Excuse me. I'm sorry, I have a procedure today over at the ENT. You need the second window. Oh my. Tatiana Semenovna. Oh. Hello there. My God, my God. So you work here, is that right? Oh, look, we didn't even have the time to exchange phone numbers. Who's got an appointment with the ENT doctor at four? Me. Yes, that would be me. Well, Tatiana uh, Vishnyakova. Goodness. Oh, Anna, we have so much to talk about and catch up on. G give me your phone number. Mm -hmm. um, I've got I've got a procedure coming up now. I'll, I'll call you later. <laughs> that's my number. <laughs> Anna oh, Petrovna. that's so great. <laughs> your ticket. Hmm. You are very lucky. <laughs> How lucky am I, honey? I'm getting deaf. I can't hear a we thing. We have a wonderful specialist, Dr. Victor. You're going to be just fine. Don't lose my phone number. We have to get together. Call me and come to visit. And the two of us have so much to talk about. We have to talk. We'll talk right? soon. <laughs> All right, that's it. Goodbye. Hello, goodbye. Goodbye, Second Anna. Second yeah. Andrei Stepanovich, you could give me the number of the apartment. No, I'll do it. I'll do it. Uh, how long shall I wait? That depends on what ends up happening. Oh, excuse me.
excuse me, but who are you? Why do you have that suitcase? This suitcase belongs to Anna Petrovna. It says that she lives here. Can I see her, please? She's not home right now. I'm her daughter, Maria Petrovna Verasova. Why do you have my mom's suitcase? What is it? Well, Mother, I think this is yours. What? How did it get here? It was brought from the hotel, Mom. What did they tell you? Everything. Oh. The owner of the hotel came by, and he's a nice guy, by the way. Listen to me, they, they told me that the damage was covered in full. Mom, he came over here to say he was sorry. He left a minute ago. Why didn't you tell me that you had no money at all? You haven't eaten in two days, huh? Oh no, I made porridge for myself and I have my payment advance coming up in two days. Mom, can't you understand that you matter more to me than everything in the entire universe? More than any money. Why do you always have to carry everything? Why are you hiding everything from me? You can't do that, Mom. This one. Uh, pass the sour cream, please. All right, Mom, tell me what you've got, please. Mm -hmm. Come on, tell me. Are you going to be mad at me? Mad at you? No. <laughs> I'm not getting mad today, Mom. Oh. Even if you tell me again about that ridiculous shaman who cures ears via the internet. Oh, well. Are you constantly going to remind me of that shaman for the rest of my life? Mom. All right. I don't want to tell you anything. You <laughs> ruined Mom, I'm it. I'm not you. listening. <laughs> Don't take offense, Mom, really. <laughs> Look, Mom. Something important happened. Listen here. I met the daughter of... of the woman that I told you about. Do you remember her? The one from the uh, hotel. Uh, uh, I even thought... I even thought that we liked each other. That's it. Mm. Why, why are you sighing? Mm. Well, then if you already met that beautiful lady, I suppose my news is incredibly late. <laughs> you cannot even imagine whom I met over at the clinic. Oh. You won't believe it. That woman from the train, remember, I told you about her. Oh, I wanted to introduce you to her. Mom, please don't do this. Oh, God, what a mean man who invented these lady bags. You can't even imagine what an encounter it was. Mom, come on, My really, there's no need. Hold there's on. no need, I have Mom. to read it to you. I have to read it. Are you looking for this? Here, here you go. <coughs> oh, God, my boy, what's wrong? Andre? Andre? Andre, what's wrong? What, what's, what, what's wrong, honey? Uh -oh. Mom, how could you do this? What? Mom. Mom, how could you do this? Do what? What did I how do? How could you do this, Mom? Why are you screaming? Don't, don't scream at me. I'm not completely deaf yet.
you go. Next patient, please. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm sorry. I was here in line first, hmm? Go. Go. Excuse me, miss. I need a prescription for ECG. For ECG? Yes. You need a prescription from a cardiologist or a physician. Oh. Do you have any available appointments for now? I The physician wait. on duty can see you today. Is that okay? Yes. I'll register you then. I am Ludmilla. Pavlovna Nalivaiko. <clears throat> it's on the second floor, room number seven. Okay, thank you. Next patient, please. <sighs> Welcome, sir. Can I get your full name, please? Andrei Stepanovich Vishnyavuk. What doctor would you like to see, Mr. Andre? I would like to see you. Look, if you just give me a second. Don't you realize that I pushed you by accident before? I've been large and and clumsy since childhood. Is it really that much of a reason to hate me so much? Look, can you please tone it down? <clears throat> Could you leave your cubicle at least for five minutes? No. It's not comfortable to talk to you like this. Fine, I'll come out there. Hey, you. You need to calm down. I'm going to call security on you. Go ahead, call security. We'll see what they can do to me. Look, I'll take care of this, okay? It's a personal thing. I'll deal with it quickly, all right? Now you come over here. Well, go on. I'm all ears, Andre. What exactly do you want from me? I just want to understand. Mm -hmm. I feel so guilty about this whole thing. If it's all my fault, could I... Could I make it up to you somehow? I brought you the suitcase. I thought that... I thought that the two of us could sit down calmly and discuss everything, without emotions, talk about the entire situation. So you're the one. You're the owner of the Svezda Hotel, is that right? Masha told you, didn't she? Yeah, that's me. Oh, wow. Is that a crime, too? No, of course not. Anna Petrovna. Yes? Uh, all right, look. As far as I can see, you and I won't be able to speak here normally. And you will hardly invite me to come over to your place. Therefore, therefore, I, I suggest that we go to a cafe across the road. Why don't we go over there and, and discuss everything without people listening to us? Well, I don't know. I know it. I just absolutely, absolutely must, must talk to you about everything that happened. You, you don't want me to come here like... Like, like, like a maniac, right? <laughs> You're already like a maniac. <laughs> well, here you go. <laughs> Anna, listen, do you think that I could come and pick you up at 8 o'clock? Can I? Please, what, what do you say? All right, if you insist, that sounds just fine. <sighs> just don't... Anna, please listen. Don't sneak away, okay? Now I know how to find you, all right? Okay? All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in. I'm listening. What do you have to say? Olga, let's drop the formalities. Did something happen? Yes, it did. It did. And so is that guy, is he your sponsor? He is. That he is. You're one of us now. Have you forgotten? Did you know that he was here today? Vishniavik? In the flesh. Did he go straight to the chief doctor? Not to the chief doctor. <sighs> to whom then? Olga, tell me, what did you mean when you told me to make peace with mm -hmm. Velasova? What I'm going to tell you about Vishnyakov will depend on what I'm going to hear from <sighs> you. Do you understand? And so is it somehow connected? Yes. Nothing in particular. I just thought that if that... Stupid woman takes you back. You won't be going around flirting so much here, and she'll be finally settled once and for all. Stupid woman, you say? She has her eyes fixated on your generous sponsor. Mm-hmm. Let's see who the stupid woman is now. Has her eyes on him? What do you mean? Exactly. That's exactly what I mean. They're meeting each other tonight in our hall, as a matter of fact, at 8 o'clock. All right. This is what's happening here, Olya. What are you going to do about it? Excuse me. Yes, hello. 
Yes, Olga, how can I help you? All right. I'm going to speak to Semenova. Move to another window, please. Oh, well. Excuse me, sorry. Who is that handsome man? I'll tell you later. Come on in. You wanted to see me? Take a seat, Petrovna. <sighs> I need you to tell me right now, my dear friend, what's going on between you and our general sponsor. I don't understand. What do you mean? What general sponsor? Oh, you don't understand? Well, I have different information. Can you explain why Vishniava came to you and didn't even bother to come upstairs to pay me a visit? Is Vishniavik our sponsor? I didn't know that. Oh, you didn't know. Go ahead, tell me how you met him. I'm sorry, but it's personal. <clears throat> oh, so that's how it is, okay. You just so happened to take a vacation under the labor code and then you had an affair with the ENT of the clinic. It's great you have a sugar daddy to help you out and I'm wondering why you aren't paying attention to Zotov. Turns out you have a much bigger fish on your hook, isn't that right? Olga, why are you talking to me like this? What have I done? Well, this is my clinic in case you have forgotten. I'll talk in any way that I want. Who do you think you are? You're an ungrateful bitch. I dragged you out of the swamp. I've done so much for you and you have just, you've... Olga, I remember well what you did for me, and I'm very grateful to you for all of that. But I won't let anyone talk to me like this, especially you. Oh, that's great. You won't have to worry about that anymore. I am officially asking you to hand in your resignation. And don't worry, I am not going to make you work for another two weeks. You no longer work here. Effective immediately. I'll call the accounting department and ask them to give you your severance. All right, fine then. Take care of yourself, Olga. Excuse me, um, uh, I, I wanted to ask you, I I'm waiting for Anna Petrovna. She's, uh, she's running a little late, isn't she? Actually, she resigned today. She's not coming back. Resigned? Huh? I don't know. She just left. But, but I talked to her this morning. She seemed well, fine. Well, she resigned. We it didn't she even... say anything. She didn't work for another minute. She didn't even say goodbye. phone or responding the messages. I have no idea where she could be right now. This is all because of me. She resigned because of me. Look, Masha, what if she went to her mother to blow off steam, to let Trugli? That's right. Igor, you're a genius. Hello, Grandma. I'm all right. Why? She's not picking up. Oh, don't worry, Grandma. I'll tell her and she'll call you back. Yeah, me too. Bye-bye. She's not there. Grandma called her too, and she's worried. All right, guys. Think about it. She's not going to sleep on the street. She'll come back home eventually. Igor, are you out of your mind? She could get hit by a car or get kidnapped, and you don't care. We need to call the police right away. No, Igor's right. We're not going to call anybody, okay? What we are going to do is we are going to look for her. If she's not here, we're going to ring every single doorbell, and then we'll let everyone know she's missing. Hmm? This plate is for the stems. Andrei Stepanovich, uh, what exactly is your interest in all this? Yeah. Thank you for informing us, of course, but I just don't get it. I think that, uh... that I'm in love... with your mother. 
So are we going to look for her or what? What are we waiting for? Mom! Mom? Mom! Masha, I'm here. Mom, what happened? Mom, what happened to you? Masha, calm down. I'm just really exhausted. Mom, you can't do this. I nearly lost my mind. Oh, God, why is that man here? I'm sorry, did anyone invite you to come? Why aren't you looking at me? I'm speaking to you right now. First, I nearly broke my leg because of you. Then, I nearly went to prison because of your ridiculous hotel promotion. Why are you here? What else do you want from me, Andre? What do I want? Well, what I want is for you to marry me. What? He's crazy, right? Mom. All right, Masha, get him out. Get Mom, him out, down, I said, please. right now. Mom, He's crazy. It's okay, just calm down. Mom, you're gonna be okay. Let's go. Let's go, come on. Masha, where are you going? Can you hear me? Igor, Masha! Perhaps you're really a maniac. No, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, that was a joke. <laughs> uh, I, I was kidding. Look, I haven't eaten anything since morning. Are you going to eat with me? Well, of course. We, we're going to have dinner today, by the way, if, if you remember. Yes, a dinner. I remember. I remember. That was before I was fired from work instead, so the dinner never happened. How's that? Very simple. This is because I was flirting with the general sponsor behind the backs of my superiors. Ah, oh, well, that makes sense. I'd fire you, too. Look, why do people need to make everything so damn complicated? Why can't a dinner just be a dinner and nothing else? Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, your, um, uh, <clears throat> your cutlets are burning. You know what? These are my cutlets. I'll do whatever I want to them. Well, I'm hungry. Burn your cutlets if you want to, but, but give me mine. Here you go. Do you have a cucumber? You're welcome. What else? How about vodka? I don't have any. Tableware, then. I can't eat with my hands. <laughs> Here you go. Aren't you going to nom with me? You're hungry, aren't you? Mm -hmm. You know, there's no such word as nom. <sighs> Only little children can nom. Hello? Yeah, together. Mm-hmm. No, you're not bothering us. All right, I'll call you. Yeah, sure, I'll call you, I promise. All right, bye. Hello. Yes, Mommy. Mom, don't wait for me. You can go to bed. That's right. I'm eating. Yeah, I'm, I'm eating cutlets. With your friend, by the way. The one from the train. You don't believe me? You want me to give her the phone, huh? Do you? Hello? Tatiana, it's good to hear from you. Yes, hello. <laughs> what? Yes, yes, he's with me. <sighs> mm-hmm. The same to you. Mm-hmm. Have a good night. Well, there you have it. 
You don't have a choice anymore. You could sneak away from me, but not from my mother, I can assure you. You can run and hide, but she'll find you. Therefore, first things first, I suggest that we go ahead and we find a good job for you right away. This is because all the other issues have already been taken care of. What do you think about that, huh? <laughs> Wait a sec, Anna. Why are you so worried, huh? Where would he go? But Igor, he's never late. Something happened. Oh my. Mom, all I know is Tatiana's definitely eating you for breakfast. I mean, I know those kind of people, and they're professors and masters Masha. of domestic order. Don't give up. If you want to work, then stand your ground, Mom. Masha, can I please just decide for myself? I don't see anything bad in domestic order. Igor, do not get involved. You're not even a relative. You see? Hold on. <laughs> That makes no sense to me. Am I the one who refuses to get married? That's not very nice. If I were Igor, I would have been hurt. You're expecting a baby, Anna and you Petrovna. still have everything of your own. Anna Petrovna! Oh dear, thank God. Oh, it's finally. all my fault. What I'm happened? sorry. Don't blame my dad. It was all me, oh, I my promise. God. You know, lying's a terrible thing. A terrible thing. Who says she's lying? She's my daughter. She's very much like me, and I never lie. Although, I'm never late to. <laughs> Is it just me, or does nothing get past her? Come on now, we need to go. Let's go. What? You're gonna walk. I'm carrying you. <laughs> let me go, you crazy bear. Let me go. I'll never let go. <gasps> Where are we, are we going? Gonna be late for the let train? Me go. All right, take the bag. <laughs> Come on, take the bag, please. Hello, Mr. Sergei. How are you? We're happy to have you back. Your favorite room, 802, is waiting for you. If you have any questions or need anything at all, feel free to contact me or our new manager. Dmitry Vasilyevich? <laughs> I'll come to you, my dear. I'll come to you just to cheer me up. <laughs> <laughs> cheer you up? What are we, a circus? Get your key and go up to your room. Come on, go ahead. Cheer him up, huh? Tell me, Anna. Mm hmm When are you planning to take your next vacation? In September, I think. As mm -hmm. usual. In September, as usual? Why are you flirting with everyone? Can't you say I'm jealous? You know how I jealous I can you. get, how it's can an I issue. I've had that issue since I was a kid, believe me. <laughs> 